Hi, hoi, hoi, good afternoon. It's um, on and off today. Tomorrow, which usually the day before is pretty good, although that was more or less Google telling me, and they may not necessarily know. Um, anyways, um, not going to be a lot of rain tomorrow, not a lot of wind, so I'm probably going to head out for a bike ride then. Aaron's reading stuff. Put the camera on him and guess what happens? Every damn time. Every damn time. That's why I tell him, I was like, maybe you should get onto your meetings a little bit early because I've noticed you turn on the meetings and your camera's on and you go. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, the yeah. Crazy, the crazy part with that is it's, it's when I start broadcasting and most of the time I'm unable to see myself if I'm the first person there. It's true. So I made the unak soup that's basically cauliflower and broccoli soup with parmesan cas. Cas. Gas. It's right there. I heated it up in the thing. I, yeah. Just because I was like, you know what? Like, you should just nuke it. I'm like... Oh. No, I actually was going to suggest that. I said if you want to nuke it, you can. That's uh, true. Hang on. All right, might be a little better. He took the screen thing off because I'm clumsy and probably would have just broke the screen in half. <laughs> but yeah, so I made the soups and I was gonna sprinkle some cheese on it and stuff. I mean, it's pre-made soup, <laughs> but it comes in like the, the package. So I was like, hey, it's actually, you know, cheaper, but I guarantee you if you wanted to make your own, it would be Way cheaper if you made your own soup from scratch. But it'd also be a lot more work. Yeah, yeah. So I had to like weirdly, I don't want to say cheat, but I looked ahead on the quests for next week's Night Fae because my shaman is going through the Kiri right now and it's basically, I go to Ardenweald. Now my funny thing is, is the last two campaign quests, I've gone to the other zone to get something for the Pedestal of Ascension. I'm not that vested in knowing about the Kyrian. And this week is something about Ardenweald. But next week's for Night Fae is Deal with Aloha. And I'm like... Could that be like, I'm having issues with Aloha, or I'm making a deal for Aloha so I can give it to the Kyrian? Because Maldraxxus and Kyrian had the exact same quest. Yeah. So I was afraid that this week I would do stuff in Ardenweald that would spoil next week's for my main that I actually give a flying crap about. But I looked ahead, and there's a whole lot of, like, Winter Queen Juan Samdi, this, that, and the other thing. And I'm like, okay, well, this has nothing to do with dealing with any bit of the Kyrian. So the Kyrian quest line here is something else. Something else. But it's internal to the Kyrian. So I'm going to go through that quest here. It's at three, it's 250 almost. And uh, yeah, I just realized that last week's video is a bit off. <laughs> yet yeah, last week's yesterday's video was really short because when I'm out and about and I record on the phone I don't record much why because I'm it's awkward to hold the phone it's easier to hold the tripod <laughs> than it is to hold the phone and because I can rest my hand like this not hold my arm up like that so and it, you don't want to get too bad of a vlogger yeah, that's why I'm also switching over to this side so that we can get this shoulder worked out, not just this one. <laughs> so I can be mirror buff, not quarantine buff. <laughs> or we call that lockdown buff. Lockdown buff. Lockdown buff. Although it could be quarantine, but I, I put in quarantine as like you actually are sick. Whereas, like, lockdown is, I'm not leaving as much as possible. Quarantine is you can't leave at all. Yeah. But, yeah. I was talking to someone the other day, and they said, uh, it's, I mean, 
in self-imposed quarantine, it's awful, I'm bored, I'm lonely. Well, why don't you have so-and-so come over? What part of quarantine did you not catch? They're probably Swedish. No. Okay. Whatever. <laughs> but yeah. And so... It's, it's just that the one person I know who's been basically dicking around with most of this quarantine for anything is Swedish. <laughs> he just gives no hells whatsoever. <laughs> I'm going here. I'm having partying. And I'm like, you do realize we're supposed to be inside. And he's out on the banks of the Amstel with his other early 20, early 20s somethings friends just having beers in desperate close quarters. I'm like, it's April. <laughs> if he was doing that in July, which he was, I wouldn't have minded. Everybody was out in really close quarters in the summer. Yeah. But we weren't even two weeks into this, and he's out. Cheers! And I'm like, I understand that this is basically summer weather for you, but come on, dude. <laughs> but he's also, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. Frank, if you're watching this, you know who I'm talking about. <laughs> he's about as much of a... He, he's a dipshit, and you know it. <laughs> Anybody else on the team, you know who I'm talking about. But anyways... What are we at? Six minutes now? I don't think there's going to be anything later. There's nothing interesting. We're going to watch probably The Expanse tonight. It's Wednesday. Yeah. Yes. And then tomorrow's going to be that George Clooney thing. Yeah, I was going to plan on doing the George Clooney thing, eating Indian food, going out for a bike ride, having a thing, tonight being something else, and whatnot. I'm in kind of also a cleaning mode, because the, between the bacon and the tacos and the road to Dalfels last night, the stove's a little ucky, 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 ucky. Um, but yeah. So, I'm in a cleaning mood. <laughs> Which is usually a good thing, but sometimes I get really anal about everything and I start cleaning the stupid things. Like plugs. <laughs> and I gotta like not clean plugs or like things we've never used. Oh, that should probably be wiped. Oh. It wasn't red before. It's been getting darker and darker. It's because of the red devils. Yeah. <laughs> Just to let guys let you know, it's not supposed to look like that. It's supposed to look like that. Yeah, that has no dust on it because I was checking to see which one of them, which of them sucked in and whatnot with a tissue. So I just didn't wipe this one down. Yeah, I don't think we actually checked this one because we know that it works. That's true. I didn't check it, but... Yeah, if anything, my arm, my fingers are getting twitchy because <laughs> they're like uh, trying to hold the phone in the case. Anyways, I'll catch you guys tomorrow. It's a it's the last day of the year. I don't know. I could re random record and upload immediately. I might even do a live stream in the middle of the night, you know, because we have all of that out there. That's probably going to be a center stage for fireworks. Yeah, I might even just, like, put the camera on the other side and just, like, I'm not going to flip it, but <laughs> point it out the window and just see what's going on. I think I covered the microphone on that. I'm sorry. <laughs> but, yeah, I don't know what's going to happen tomorrow night. We live in a new area. Um, like, Aaron and I would probably still, if we lived at the old apartment, probably still walk to the Amstel because we all know that the Dutch are not going to listen to anything <laughs> when it comes down to their night of war. <laughs> and I love, I love that the official government guidance on this is no showers of sparks, but explosives are fine. Actually, they kind of went back on a lot of that. <laughs> They're like, okay, yeah, fireworks are fine. Try not to gather in groups and we're going to impose a curfew. <laughs> <laughs>